I am Anil Kumar. Here is a test paper on rational functions, which are quotients of polynomial functions, right? The questions here are, write an equation for a rational function with the following properties. Whole at x equals to 1 and vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 3. Second, vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 2 and horizontal asymptote at y equals to 3. C. An oblique asymptote y equals to x plus 1 but no vertical asymptote. And D is vertical asymptote at x equals to 3 and f of x is greater than 0. Okay. You can always pause the video, answer these questions and then look into my suggestions. Now here are solutions of these questions. The very first one is we are given two characteristics of our rational function. First, we are saying whole at x equals to 1. The second one is vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 3. Now, the idea here is to understand both the concepts. When I say whole at x equals to 1, I could write the function y equals to. Whole at x equals to 1 means we have two factors common in numerator and denominator. I mean, x minus 1 is common in both numerator and denominator. Only this, when they are common in numerator and denominator, that will give you a whole. Correct? The second one, when we say vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 3, it means that denominator is 0 for x equals to minus 3. So, x plus 3 will be a factor here. So I hope you get the concept, right? So therefore, the answer will be x minus 1 over x minus 1 times x plus 3. Correct? So that becomes the solution of this particular question. I hope that concept is clear, right? So some of you may like to sketch this also. It will look like what? So when you sketch this function, basically, it will be 1 over x, which has been shifted 3 units left, right? So, so the vertical asymptote at x minus 3 means like this. And if I substitute 0 here, I get 1 over 3, which is positive. So, so that means my function should look like this, right? And on this side, like this. Okay, now there's one catch. At 1, there is a hole. So, so we could write this as equal to, so this will simplify to 1 over x plus 3, where x is not equal to minus 3 and also 1, correct? Now, if I substitute 1 here for x, I get 1 over 4, correct? So, at 1, there is a hole here. Do you understand? So this hole is positioned at x equals to 1 and the coordinates are 1 and 1 over 4. Do you get an idea? So, so this point here is 1 over 4. So that is how you are going to sketch it. So the function will be sketched like this. with a hole at x equals to 1. Is that clear? Perfect. So that is how you are going to solve it. Now let's take the next example, which is write an equation of a rational function with the properties given. This time we are given vertical asymptote and horizontal asymptote, correct? Okay. So let's try to understand what are we given. So on a graph, we could actually plot these two. Horizontal asymptote at 3. Let's say this is the horizontal asymptote, right? And the vertical asymptote is at minus 2. Let's select this. That is the graph, correct? Now to get both these points, you could write the equation as y equals to. Since this is y equals to 3, we know that 
if you write equation like ax plus b over cx plus d, in that case, a over c should be equal to 3. That's the whole idea. Okay. Now, vertical asymptote x minus 2 means cx plus d should be x plus 2. Only then you have vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 2, right? Now, since coefficient of x is 1, c should be 3, right? So, we get 3x here straight away. Do you get an idea? Correct? So, so even this equation can work for us. So, that could be one of our solutions. Do you get an idea? Now, if that is what you write, in that case, if I write x equals to 0, I get a positive 3 over 2, right? So, at x equals to 0, I get positive 3 over 2, which is less than 3. Now, here this is at minus 2, correct? So, if I write minus 3 here, then we have both negative and we get a positive value. So, so make table of values to sketch the function, which should look like, well, from here itself, if I write 0 here, I get 3 over 2, which is less than 3. I get a graph which will be kind of like this. Well, and we have met both the criteria, correct? So our answer is right there. I hope you understand how simple it is, correct? Once the concepts are clear, it's not difficult at all. Now let's take the next one, which says oblique asymptote this time, x plus 1, but no vertical asymptote. No vertical asymptote is very important. Okay, that means we have y equals to x plus 1. We have to approach this value, but no vertical asymptote. So we could have like 1 over x squared plus 1. You understand. So if I have 1 over x squared plus 1, we are approaching a value, but we are not quite there. So that is how we could satisfy this. Is it okay? So this is how you should do it. Perfect. So the denominator is always non-negative, a non-zero perfect for all values. So in this case, we have no vertical asymptote and there will be an oblique asymptote. Some of you can actually write this as x plus 1 times x squared plus 1 divided by x squared plus 1. If the equation is to write in standard form the numerator and denominator, right? I mean, so you could do this. So that is x cubed plus x plus x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 1, which could be written as x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1 over x squared plus 1, correct? So that will give you the condition. However, this answer is good enough. So we'll just give that as our answer. Does make sense to you, right? Now here is the last question. I hope you are enjoying this series and you are able to understand how we are getting the equations from the given conditions. This time, we are given that vertical asymptote is at x equals to 3. There is only one vertical asymptote and the function is greater than 0. It is always positive, right? So that is what it is, greater than 0. So in that case, uh, a function which is always positive and the vertical asymptote is at a given point, think like this. At 3, we have a vertical asymptote. The function is kind of like this. It doesn't make sense. So that gives you an idea that the function could be y equals to what? Always positive means we have square. Only then it's always positive. And 3, vertical asymptote means x minus 3. It does make sense to you. So that is how you get your equations, right? So x equals to 3 is a vertical asymptote. So I hope that helps you to understand how to get equations for the functions when the conditions are given to us. Correct? So let's review them. Let's review them. 
So what we have here is four questions. When we say whole at x equals to 1 and vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 3, that means y is equal to, in the denominator, we definitely have x plus 3, right? Since we have a whole also, we have a common factor x minus 1 in both numerator and denominator. So it's that simple. So in a multiple choice question, doesn't really take time. Part B. Vertical asymptote is given and horizontal asymptote is given. So since the vertical asymptote is at x minus x equals to minus 2, the factor here is x plus 2. Since the horizontal asymptote is y equals to 3, we have to multiply this by 3 and write down, right? So it could be 3x, it could be 3x plus 1 minus 1, whatever, okay? Last question here, I mean C is, oblique asymptote is given, so write y equals to whatever the oblique asymptote is given, plus no vertical asymptote. That means uh, we don't want denominator to be 0. So it should be like x squared plus, it could be anything, right? So let's write 1, for example. It makes sense. You could write 4 also. It doesn't matter. Both are correct. Okay. Vertical asymptote is given to us as x equals to 3. That means x minus 3 is in the denominator. However, we are saying function is greater than 0. So that means it should be positive. Is it okay? So 1 over that could meet our criteria. So you could have actually answered this in just a second as we did here, right? So once you understand the concepts, it's become that simple. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.